एक्सरसाइज क्लास सेवन सब्जेक्ट जनरल साइंस चैप्टर नंबर फोर न्यूट्रिशन इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्लासिफाई अकॉर्डिंग टू फूड टाइप टाइगर काउ वल्चर बैक्टीरिया डियर गोट ह्यूमन फंगस लायन स्पैरो बफेलो फ्रॉग कॉक्रोच आंसर हर्बिओरस काऊ डिअ गोट बफेलो कार्निओरस टायगर लायन फ्रॉग ओमनिओरस स्पॅरो ह्युमन कॉक्रोच स्कॅव्हेंजर्स व्हल्चर डिकम्पोजर सॅप्रोट्रॉफिक बॅक्टेरिया फंगस पॅरासायटिक टिक क्वेश्चन सेकंड मॅच द पेयर्स ग्रुप ए फर्स्ट पॅरासायटिक प्लांट सेकंड इन्सेक्टिओरस प्लांट थर्ड सॅप्रोफायटिक प्लांट फोर्थ सेम्बायोटिक प्लांट ग्रुप बी ए मशरूम बी लिचेन सी ड्रोसेरा डी कस्कुटा ॲन्सर्स पॅरासायटिक प्लांट कस्कुटा इन्सेक्टिओरस प्लांट ड्रोसेरा सॅप्रोफायटिक प्लांट मशरूम सेम्बायोटिक प्लांट लिचे क्वेश्चन थर्ड ॲन्सर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन्स इन युअर ओन वर्ड्स ए व्हाय डू लिव्हिंग ऑर्गॅनिझम्स नीड न्यूट्रिशन ॲन्सर लिव्हिंग ऑर्गॅनिझम्स नीड न्यूट्रिशन फॉर द फॉलोइंग रिझन्स फर्स्ट for the continuous supply of energy to perform work second to help in the growth and development of the body third to replace the worn out tissue and to repair the damaged tissue fourth to have resistance to infections and diseases b explain the process of production of food in plants answer The plants prepare the food by the process of photosynthesis. Plants absorb water and minerals present in the soil with the help of roots. The carbon dioxide is taken from the air and with the help of chlorophyll in the presence of sunlight plants prepare glucose in the process of photosynthesis. In the process oxygen is liberated by the plants. केमिकल रिएक्शन ऑफ द फोटोसिंथेसिस इज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड प्लस वॉटर इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सनलाइट एंड क्लोरोफिल फूड दैट मीन्स ग्लूकोज प्लस ऑक्सीजन सिक्स सी ओ टू प्लस सिक्स एच टू ओ इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सनलाइट एंड क्लोरोफिल फॉर्म सी सिक्स एच ट्वेल्व ओ सिक्स प्लस सिक्स ओ टू सी व्हॉट इज मीन बाय पैरासाइटिक प्लांट name their different types with examples of each answer the plants that depend on other plants for their nutrition are called parasitic plants the parasitic plants are heterotrophic in their mode of nutrition some of them lack chlorophyll and thus cannot perform photosynthesis on their own loranthus is partial parasite it sucks the nutrition from its host but prepares its own food cascuta or dodder does not have chlorophyll it looks yellow wire like climber hence it is complete parasite on the host tree d explain the various types of nutrition in animals answer there are main five steps of nutrition in animals ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and egestion ingestion feeding means ingestion food is taken in the body in the process of ingestion second digestion different enzymes act on the complex food constituents and convert these into soluble nutrients this process takes place 
at the different places in the elementary canal. Third, absorption. The digested soluble nutrients are absorbed in the blood. Assimilation. The nutrients are taken to each cell and tissue through the blood circulation. In the cells, energy is produced using these nutrients. Once the energy is released, then the food is said to be assimilated. Fifth one, egestion. The matter that is not digested and absorbed is thrown out of the body. In the last step of egestion. E. Name some unicellular organisms in which all life processes takes place within their unicellular body. Answer. Amoeba, Euglena and Paramoecium are the unicellular organisms in which all the life processes takes place within a single cell. Question 4. Give reasons. A. Insectivorous plants are attractively colored. Answer. Insectivorous plants feed on insects. They need to capture the insects. In order to attract these insects towards the plant, they are attractively colored. B. Butterflies have a long tube-like proboscis. Answer. Every insect is provided with mouth parts for ingestion. It feeds on nectar and pollen from the flowers. It thus has a tube-like proboscis to suck this food from flower. Question 5. Prepare and complete the flow chart according to type of nutrition. Nutrition in plants. Autotrophic, heterotrophic, symbiotic. Now in animals, holozoic, saprozoic and parasitic. Now in heterotropics, there are two types, insectivorous and saprophytic. Now in parasitic, there are two types, ectoparasitic and endoparasitic. Question 6. Think and answer. A. We prepare a variety of foodstuffs and dishes at home. Are we then autotrophic organisms? Answer. We prepare variety of foodstuffs by using grains, pulses, vegetables, etc. These provisions are given to us by plants. We may also prepare food from flesh and eggs of other animals. We cannot perform photosynthesis wherein we can actually synthesize the food matter. Hence, we are not autotrophs, we are heterotrophs. B. Which organisms are greater in number, autotrophs or heterotrophs? Why? Answer. The number of autotrophs is certainly more. The number of plants should be more so that they can be enough for the herbivores. Herbivores are dependent upon autotrophs. If autotrophs decrease in numbers, the heterotrophs too will strive and die. Therefore, in nature, the autotrophs are always more than the heterotrophs to balance the food chain. C. The number of heterotrophs found in desert regions is smaller. However, they are found in greater numbers in the sea. Why is this so? Answer. In desert region, the autotrophs are lesser in number as well as heterotrophs dependent on them are also less. The food is scarce. Therefore, the number of heterotrophs also reduces. In oceans and seas, there are multitude of zooplankton and phytoplankton. Phytoplankton are very small, microscopic floating plants which we may not see. The food chain in the sea is dependent on these planktonic species. Therefore, the number of heterotrophs found in desert regions is smaller, but 
दे आर फाउंड इन ग्रेटर नंबर इन दी डी वॉट डैमेज और हार्म डू एक्टोपैरासाइटिक एंड एंडोपैरासाइटिक एनिमल्स कॉज एंसर पैरासाइटिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स डिपेंड ऑन द होस्ट फॉर इट्स न्यूट्रिशन एक्टोपैरासाइट्स हैव स्पेशलाइज माउथ पार्ट्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ दीज दे सक द ब्लड फॉर एग्जाम्पल मॉस्किटो एंड बेडबग्स द बाइटिंग इंसेक्ट्स कॉज अ लॉट ऑफ डिस्कम्फर्ट मॉस्किटोज स्प्रेड मेनी डिसीजेस सच एज मलेरिया डेंगू एंडोपैरासाइट्स लिव इन साइड द बॉडी ऑफ होस्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल राउंड वॉम हुक वॉम पिन वॉम एक्सेट्रा दे एब्सॉर्ब होस्ट न्यूट्रिय एंड कॉज मल नरिशमेंट टू द होस्ट बोथ एक्टोपैरासाइट्स एंड एंडोपैरासाइट्स कॉज डैमेज टू अवर हेल्थ ई वाई इज प्लांट फूड नॉट प्रोड्यूस इन एनी अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट एक्सेप्ट द ग्रीन वंस एंसर द क्लोरोफिल इज प्रेजेंट इन द ग्रीन पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट्स इन दीज पार्ट्स फोटोसेंथेसिस टेक्स प्लेस दीज प्रोड्यूसेस फूड द नॉन ग्रीन पार्ट्स डू नॉट प्रोड्यूस फूड ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ क्लोरोफिल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम टेक्स बुक लेट्स रिकॉल टेक्स बुक पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स फर्स्ट वॉट इज माल न्यूट्रिशन एंसर माल न्यूट्रिशन इज द स्टेट वेन द रिक्वायर्ड न्यूट्रिय फॉर प्रॉपर फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द बॉडी आर नॉट ऑप्टेन थ्रू द डाइट इम्बेलेंस डाइट और ओवर न्यूट्रिशन कैन कॉज माल न्यूट्रिशन सेकेंड वीच आर द वेज टू प्रिवेंट माल न्यूट्रिशन एंसर टेकिंग होलसम फूड एंड बैलेंस डाइट इज द वे टू प्रिवेंट माल न्यूट्रिशन सिमिलरली एज पर अवर एज एंड टाइप ऑफ वर्क वी हैव टू मैनेज अवर डाइट टू प्रिवेंट माल न्यूट्रिशन कैन यू टेल टेक्स बुक पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स हाउ डू प्लांट्स प्रोड्यूस देअर ओन फूड एंसर प्लांट्स प्रिपेयर देअर ओन फूड by the process of photosynthesis find out textbook page number 27 what is chemosynthesis which plants produce their food by chemosynthesis answer using carbon dioxide methane hydrogen hydrogen sulfide etc as the source of energy and producing food in this process is called chemosynthesis no autotrophic green plants perform chemosynthesis only bacteria like microbes residing in the areas where sunlight does not reach perform chemosynthesis however chemosynthetic microbes are not plants they are placed in another kingdom let's recall textbook page number 27 which are the different substances excreted by the plants why answer plants excrete substances like resins gums rubber oil etc which are not of any use to the plants however for human beings these are important commercial products plants do not have excretory system so such substances are given out by the process of diffusion some substances are stored in the bark of the stem while some are deposited in the old xylem vessel since these products are useless for plants they are excreted by the plants use your brain power textbook page number 29 first which part of the loranthus plant carries out photosynthesis answer leaves of loranthus carries out photosynthesis second from where do they obtain minerals and water answer loranthus obtains the necessary minerals and water from the host plant for absorption of these nutrients they are specialized roots which are inserted into xylem of the host plants 
Why is Loranthus known as partially parasitic plant? Answer: Loranthus takes shelter on the host tree. It sucks the water and minerals from the host, but it can photosynthesize and prepare its own food. Therefore, it is called a partial parasite. Use your brain power. Textbook page number twenty nine. Why does the peacher plant feed on insects even though it produces food by photosynthesis? Answer: Peacher plants grow in the soil that is deficient on nitrogen. Plants requires nitrogen for building up proteins. To overcome this problem, peacher plant feed on insects. Let's recall. Textbook page number thirty. Which are the various nutrients in food? For what purpose are the nutrients used? Answer: Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, and minerals are the main nutrients in the food. Nutrients are used for obtaining energy, growth of the body, carrying out day-to-day -day functions of the body, and fighting diseases. Can you tell? Textbook page number thirty-one. How does ingestion occur in unicellular animals like amoeba? Answer: In unicellular amoeba, there are no special organs for feeding. It takes the food through the any part of its surface. When a food particle is located, amoeba encircles it totally with the help of pseudopodia. The food particle is taken inside the body. The enzymes are secreted over it by which it digests the food. When undigested food is to be thrown out, amoeba leaves it behind and move further. How will you classify the following animals according to their food type? Fox, carnivorous. Parrot. herbivorous chameleon carnivorous man or human being omnivorous deer herbivorous lion carnivorous and last one vulture is scavengers parasitic nutrition textbook page number 32 have you seen small animals on the bodies of animals like dogs and buffaloes which are those small animals answer yes on the bodies of pet animals there are parasitic organisms like flea ticks and mites sometimes leeches are also seen from where do these little animals obtain their food answer these parasites obtain blood from their host animals from where do the worms in the intestine obtain their food answer the digested food having useful nutrients in the host intestine is taken by the worms living inside the intestine of the host